Abracadabra. Is your fever gone? If you contracted malaria in the 3rd century, which is long before the word malaria was coined, someone might well have muttered this incantation abracadabra and expected you to get better. That's because Quintus Serenus Samonicus, Roman Emperor Caracalla's doctor, had written a medical poem. Yes, there is such a thing. It asked patients shivering with fever to wear an amulet inscribed with abracadabra after nine days, you had to throw it over your shoulder in a stream that was running eastwards. The word malaria comes to us from malus aria in Latin or mala aria in Italian. Both mean evil air, the supposed cause of the disease. Malus is bad or evil in Latin. Mala means the same in Italian. And aria is air in both languages. Malaria is one of the oldest known diseases. Though for centuries people were fuzzy about how one got it, they thought it was caused by foul vapours that rose from marshy lands. Hence swamp fever was another name given to it. Roman soldiers were advised to camp away from bogs to avoid the illness. The term malaria was probably introduced by the Italian physician Francesco Torti in the 18th century. The foul air theory of the cause of malaria continued till the mid-19th century. It broke down with the discovery of the malarial parasite. In 1847, German doctor Johann Heinrich Meckel observed black granules in the blood and spleen of a patient who had died of malaria. These were actually malarial parasites. In 1880, Alphonse Lavarin a French doctor working in Algeria properly identified the malarial parasite in the blood of infected patients. He also noted that when treated with quinine, the parasite vanished from the blood. But it was in India that the story was completed. On 20th August 1897, Sir Ronald Ross, a British doctor working on the subcontinent, discovered that the parasites developed in the Anopheles mosquitoes that drank the blood of malaria patients. This won him the 1902 Nobel Prize for Medicine. Indian tonic water, now known simply as tonic, was invented in India as a preventative drink against malaria. Quinine, the malaria medicine, was bitter, so the British mixed it with soda and sugar to make it palatable. Then they decided to have it with gin, making it an even more agreeable drink. Mm. And thus, thanks to malaria, the gin and tonic was invented. The fact that mosquitoes and other insects cause disease was known in certain parts of the world since ancient times. In the 26th century BC, for example, the Egyptians ate garlic and onions to ward off mosquitoes. But it was Ross who put the final piece of the puzzle in place and lucked out with the Nobel Prize. He was so delighted with his achievement that he named 20th August, the day he made his discovery, Malaria Day, which was later adopted as World Mosquito Day. Cheers to that. I'm the English Nut. Bye for now. Like this content? Do subscribe, like, share, comment, tag your friends. From one English nut to another, thank you.